Hi everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, uh, till the previous video, we have like seen how you can simply get out some information about your data, right? That what's your data all about? And um, basically, what are the things you have into your data and everything we have just looked over and what, how you can get up all of those respective things, right? Now, moving to the next. First, what I'll do, I'll just help you to get in some uh, very quick intro or maybe a quick revision of whatever we have done up till now. Okay, and uh, after that, I'll take you forward with the nature of the things. Okay, so uh, we have just imported out our libraries which we have up over here, which we'll be using. We'll be using NumPy, Pandas, and the PyLab, these three libraries over here for uh, generally um, making up this complete data analysis possible. Okay, after that, what I did and the very starting only, I set out the global size uh, of a matplotlib figures, which we'll be making up further, right. So, um, I set out a figure size for rectangular shape and the size is 10, 5. Okay. Next, I have set on the size of the subplots as well, where the size is 10, 10. Right. And even I have put on the bin size, which is as well equal to 10. Okay. So, the main thing is like that are all of the uh, like features which I had put down over here and all of the things. Right. So, next, what I'm going to do, next, I'm going to check out. Uh, basically read out my data, whatever the CHP data I have over here, right? So DF underscore T, that is a variable into which I am uh, taking up my CHP data. I have two CHP data, every one is my train data, one is my test data, okay? Right now, I'm just using up my train data. After Afterwards, when we are done with this EDA part and everything, after that, I'm going to apply that test data for some, uh, maybe putting up my machine learning algorithms or for any of the things, right? That's the thing, right? So here that is like we have done now this so head function okay df underscore t dot head with the of the, this head function actually what will be helping is it will uh, really help us to uh, get on the top five rows of our data right the what are the top five rows are there of our data it will help us to get all of those top five rows fine so with that it is got to know okay i have passenger ids i have survived i have p class i have name gender age and a lot of columns in my data right after that, even I checked out that down means the bottom five rows of my data with the help of the tail function, right? So these are all of the tail functions which we have up over here. And now I was trying to check out the shape of my data. That what's the shape of my data? That is 891 comma 12, right? So in total I have 891 rows, and in total I have 12 columns, right? So that is whatever shape I am having. Now I'm trying to view up my data about my data set that what are the information I can gather in from this respective data set so that it helps me up very easily to do my further analysis of the data. Right. So I simply figured out that okay, I have this t dot d type d type function which is helping me to tell that what kind of a data a respective column is storing. Right. As in let's say passenger ID it is having integer, so I have integer, P class integer, and every other is having integer, right? So that is what I'm trying to get that what respective uh, columns are having, what type of a data is stored into them, right? After that, I'm having up the info function. So that info function is actually helping me to get the non-null values and even the D type also and the total count of the non-null values, right? So here we just figured out that okay, we don't have too much of uh, null values in all of the columns, but yeah, few of the columns are there which are having up a good number of the null values also. So what I try to do, I just try to get the sum of the null values which are there into the respective columns. What I do, I just simply try to do uh, df underscore t. So df underscore t dot uh, is null dot sum. Right, that is what I am trying to do. I am just trying to run this all over here. So these are the respective columns which I am having. Ages of uh, it is in total having 177 null values, K is having 687 null values, and back is having two null values, and rest are having zero. So in general, I have three columns only in my complete data set which are having up the null values, right? We will be dealing up with these null values in the further analysis, right? Now we know that we have uh, some kind of a float and integer data type columns in our data. Right now, what's my next task is my next, next task is actually to find out the statistical information from all of those respective data. Right, that's my next task. So what I'm trying to do is that 
I'm just simply trying to write over here describe. Write a df underscore t dot describe. Right, and I'm going to put out the bracket like this. And I am simply going to run out the search. So now here, I am going to check out the count, the mean t. What information I have got, I've got out the count, the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum, 25%, 50%, 75%, and the maximum. Right, these are all the statistical informations which I have got over here. Right, so my passenger ID, my survive, my P class, age, civil speed, parts, pair, all of these respective columns I have up over here. Right, now this will actually help me to get a lot of information about what's the maximum value in a respective column, what is the minimum value in the respective column, maybe what is the mean of that particular column. These kinds of information I would get very, very, very easily from this respective described data set which we are having up over here. Right. So the subscribe data set generally helps us to get this kind of information in a much, much, much more clearer way. So yeah, like here we are getting a 25 percentile, we are getting a 50 percentile, even in the 75 percentile, all of those values over here we are getting. So that's quite a like fine task, right? Further now, I would shift on to my visualization part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you how multiple subplots you can make up in one respective because see, simple bar plot, you might be knowing simple scatter plots, how to make one single single, all of these. That's a very simple idea. And uh, yeah, if you if you're in data science field, you will surely know about these things, right? So I won't I don't want to make it very, very, very simple sort of a thing. I want to give you some extra information rather which helps you to put on those things onto your data analysis and everything, which will really help you out a lot. So, right, that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write fig is equal to and that is plt dot figure, right? plt dot figure. And in the bracket, I'm just having figure size. And uh, that fig size, I'm just put out with my, uh, we have just put down one of the variables above. Let me show you which variable. Um, okay, yeah, this is my fig size, which is 10, 10, 5. We had set down, right? I'll just go over down, right? Okay, so fig size is equal to. Uh, pick size underscore width underscore subplot. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Down the line, I'm just going to put down dimensions. So, pick underscore DIMS that is all about meaning my dimensions. So, how many dimensions? Three rows and two columns. This is what I am wanting for this particular, uh, maybe the dimensions of my figure, right? Three comma two. I'm plotting up the death and the survival count, right? So I'm just going to write plt dot subplot to grid. I'm just going to like convert it from the subplots to a grid, right? And the dimensions I'm going to give for fig underscore dims dimensions comma. Here I'm just going to put zero comma zero, right? So df underscore trig, df underscore trig in the bracket I am putting survive. Okay, df underscore trigger in the bracket and pretty survived. Dot here we are having value underscore count, right? Now I'm just counting up the values in the bracket. I'm just gonna put up a dot and my plot that is equal to the first plot. I'm just gonna put other kind as my bar plot. Okay. Rather, I'm gonna make all of the bar plots only. Okay, uh, we can even set out a title for this so if you want so title is equal to maybe death versus survival um count okay death versus survival count that is what the title we are having okay all right so you just we have simply made up a plot and that plot was all about death versus the survival count okay that is what we are having Next is like I'm just gonna use plt dot uh, subplot to grid, right? plt dot subplot to grid, and uh, in the bracket I'm just gonna set down as fig underscore dimensions, fig underscore dims dimensions, right? And in the bracket I'm gonna set that as zero comma one, right? That is the thing. Next I'm just gonna write df underscore train. In the bracket I'm just gonna simply set as P class. That is my variable, which we one of the column names which we have, right? P class. 
dot and i'm going to set down the value count over here bracket dot and my plot which i'm trying to make plot okay one second plot in the bracket kind is equal to bar okay setting up a comma over here i'm just going to set that as title which is equal to passenger uh, passenger class right so whatever the passenger class would happen i'm just trying to get that the count of all of those passenger class people right who like have been there and the things right that is what i am simply trying to do up uh, here right now i am going to make up one for gender count right so i'm just going to write plc dot and the uh, subplot to grid plt dot subplot to grid in the bracket i'm just going to do fig underscore dimensions comma in the bracket i am going to set here one comma one okay that is the thing okay not one comma one first of all we'll just do one comma zero because above all zero comma one one comma zero right and again it's the same process df underscore train okay in the bracket i'm just going to put the column name dot i'm just going to do value underscore counts bracket i'm just going to do plot over here in the bracket kind is equal to i'm going to set that as bar okay and talking about my title my title will be let's say gender counts gender counts okay that's what is my title now i am going to set this as a rotation for my x6 because these three plots will come up in one single row like in one single row now next i want it to go on to the second row okay second row or the second column for that i'm just going to set up set this as plt dot x take in the bracket i'm just going to gonna do rotation is equal to zero fine that's the thing next is now i i'm just going to use the embag function embag column to get the count of that embag column right plt dot subplot to grid and in the bracket i have fig underscore dimensions dims comma i am going to set that as 1 comma 1 right next i am going to do df underscore train the same process as we have done up till now i am going to use embag okay so i'm going to set as value underscore value underscore count in the bracket i'm just going to do dot plot and again it's some kind of bar plot i'm just going to make that bar comma i'm going to set that the title and the title is uh, maybe embark count embark um okay so embark count okay that's my title now if i plot about the age histogram right i i want the histogram for the age column right because that's uh, a single uh, column for which i'm trying to plot so i'll just take up the histogram right so i'm going to write plt dot subplot to grid in the bracket i'm going to have fig underscore dimensions comma i'm going to have 2 comma 0 okay next is i'm going to have pf underscore train in the bracket i would put my column that is a would be okay one second like this age okay hold on right age and um, and i'm going to plot histogram right so i'm just going to write hist and the bracket like this okay and next i'm going to write plt dot i'm going to set out a title for this so title and my title is going to be age histogram looks like this right that's done now it's time for running up the respective uh, plot. Okay, pick size with uh, one second. Let me just. Uh, okay, it's F I Z. Okay, fill size with the subplots is not defined. Okay, let me check. Pick size is equal to this size underscore with underscore subplots. Let me check what have I done. Um. Yeah, give me a minute, guys. I just need to like check out what did I do. Okay, my okay. I just do here one thing. I'll just write fill size underscore size underscore subplot like this. Okay. 
and do I'll just try to now run this. Is this the same? Yeah, it's the, this is the same now. Okay, what uh, did I didn't I correct the correct name subplots? Okay, PLOGS. And now the time for running this all over here. Oh my god, why is in this showing me the correct thing? size and the score size and the score subplots is equal to okay I'll just do one thing instead of this I'm just gonna keep it as size underscore subplots right and go down the line also okay down the line also I'm just gonna do it as bit and uh, I'm just gonna run all the points one again just run, run all okay fix size with subplot did I wrote the somewhere else also fig size is equal to um I just wrote this at one place only, I guess. Give me a minute. Okay, see the name was size underscore subplots. Okay, DF train is not defined because my variable was dft okay how can i do these silly mistakes okay plot yeah here yeah. okay the positional argument just talking about the positional arguments nothing other than that okay but so yeah, here we just got out the dead forces, survival count, the passenger class count, and the gender count, right? These kind of a plots we have uh, simply got over here as a like as a result, right? So like whenever you want to make multiple plots with the help of the matplotlib library or something, right? This is the way how do you do that particular thing, right? So I hope I'm pretty clear with this particular thing with this thing to all of you about uh, making up the way for making up the multiple subplots in one way, right? Okay, so this is all for this video. Thank you and take care.